Hi, I'm Donna Miller with Miller Crafts. I'm going to show you how to take a photograph and convert that into an SVG. We're going to do that using Inkscape and then we will compare that with the online converters. So I hope that you like this video and you click and subscribe and hit that bell to get notified of future videos. The first thing that you wanna do is bring your image, then go to Path, Trace, Bitmap. Make sure your image is clicked before you do that. Then you wanna make sure the Live Preview button is checked so that you can see what you're doing. The bottom half beneath the bold that says multiple scans create a group of paths, that is only for if you are converting an image that has colors or an image that has multiple gray layers. So as you can see, as I pick brightness steps and I'm going to change the scans to two and to four, your image is not changing at all because this is one layer, it's not multiple layers. So we need to go to the top half that says single scan create a path and we want to check brightness cutoff and then you wanna change the threshold and now you'll see the adjustments coming to your image. So as I go down in the numbers, the image gets brighter and I get more of the whiskers and the eyes and the ears to show. So just adjust that to how you like it. Once you have that adjusted, you could change and look at the edge detector, and that just shows you mostly the edges. I don't particularly like that one, but just so that you see what it does. And then if you go to color quantization, you, it just changes the way that it looks. And of course, you can change your colors to going either up or down. It just depends on what kind of look that you're looking for. So I don't really like that one. So I'm going to go to invert image and we'll click on that and see how that changes our image. So the invert image is changing the color quantization. So you see the black became white and the white became black. If I keep that checked and go to brightness cutoff, you can see again, the white becomes black and the black becomes white. So it just depends on what look you're going for. I like this look the best. So I'm going to click OK, and then you will need to click and drag it off of your original image. And then you can save this however you want it to be saved. You can also use an online converter too. My favorite one to use is picksvg.com. So you go in there and you bring in your image and you download your image and you can change the way that this inverts and it gives you multiple ways of changing it. And I really like the different methods that it gives you. Invert 4 is by far my favorite, but you can see on the black and white there, you're not getting a lot of detail with the eyes as I go down to the ready 2 and 3. The last online converter I like using is svgcreator.com. So bring in your original and then you just click the button that says to convert and then you will have your conversion and then you just click on download. But this does not give you any option to change any of the features on here. It just gives you one option and that's all that you have. So it just depends on what you're looking for. So let's go through all of these again and see what we have. The one on the left is from Inkscape, the one in the middle is from picksvg.com, and the one on the right is from svgcreator.com. For me, I think it depends on how much detail you want to weed and what look you are looking at as to which image I would pick. So I hope that this video helped you and that you liked it. Please click and subscribe and hit that bell button to get notified of future videos. Mm -hmm.